Well, Oren, first of all, a very warm welcome to St Mirren. How do you feel to be involved in, in charge now? Uh, it feels great um, to finally, I suppose, get out there and meet the players and, and, and I think get the first bit of normality um, for a week um, and, and get up and running. Yeah, you, you mentioned it there, the first bit of normality for you. It's been a real whirlwind couple of days. It's been crazy, yeah, uh, from probably this time last week. Having, I think we won the Crusaders game um, and then the contact was made on the Tuesday night and and from that part onwards, it's just been it's been crazy, but but brilliant and, and, and nice to be here now, and really looking forward to getting started. Yeah, how excited are you to be here finally? Yeah, brilliant, and you know it was obviously well documented that my name was in the hat in May, and I, I knew I had I had acquitted myself well. I enjoyed the process, really enjoyed the company and, and, and the people that we were I was working with at that time, and, and got a real good feel for the place. It didn't happen at that point in time, and I parked it and moved on. But um, I suppose that football's a funny old game, as they say, and and here we are three months later. I know something back, well you've just mentioned it there, you said you got a real good feeling from the board. Of course there would have been family considerations and other personal considerations before taking the job, but was it kind of an easy decision to, to come? Uh, I, I think in football in terms it was tough because I think we got Corey into a point where um, there was a huge amount of hard work to put them into the place that they're in, both on and off the pitch. Um, and I think it was well documented around Northern Ireland that, that this was a year possibly of their we could actually go and, and, and possibly make a real charge at winning it. So I think to have gotten to that position, um, you're leaving at a point where, where there's something special that could still happen, but in the same stretch, I, I think I'm well aware that in, in football terms, that big opportunities and opportunities like this don't come knocking too often. So, uh, and having already had a taste for it in May, um, I think in my gut in particular, I just had that feeling that it was it was the right one to go for. In terms of getting it this time around, I know Tony and Gordon both flew over to Ireland to meet you. What was your feeling like after meeting them again? Yeah, it was brilliant. And, and again, the relationships, you know, Tony, Tony rung me up um, first time round and um, had a great conversation with him and great feedback from him in relation to that and left on really good terms and everything else. So um, it was a very easy conversation, a very straightforward conversation. And probably within half an hour, 30 minutes, we, we were there. How excited are you to make the, the step up now from part-time football and obviously you had the job as a teacher to now coming into the full-time environment? Yeah, hugely excited and I just think, you know, it's, I think school has been brilliant for me and the 16 years at school has, has been super and I think it, it gives you a load of ammunition in relation to um, the skills that are needed to deal with people and, and, and to build relationships with people and I think there's things in, at Corian have come in very handy and I've no doubt that St Mirren will be exactly the same so um, it's brilliant to, to have been able to do the both at home but you know opportunities like this as I say are massive and, and at a club like St Mirren with the history of St Mirren um, it, it's brilliant and something that I can't wait to get started with. What similarities do you see between Corian and St Mirren? It's crazy but I see a huge amount and you know Corian is very much a community club and um, we're, we're, it's in the north coast of Northern Ireland, so it's sort of away from 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 the cities and away from probably where most of the most of the clubs are from. But but with that, the club has a real identity. It's it's a very local club. A lot of the players are, are from around. You could throw a net around the surrounding areas for most of the players come from. So, and with that, there's a real identity and a real connection with the fans. And I think you know, particularly the season that was had here last year um, and w and winning the league to get promoted. Um, it's, I think it's about trying to tap into that and, and make sure that we can, we can kick on and use that as a catalyst. Is that something you see is real important, that having that connection with the fans, especially at a club like this? Absolutely, I think it's hugely important and, and I think without that, without that you're nothing and, and you know, as I say at Corian we had that, we had a great follow and we had, they got behind the lads, they, they had a huge impact on, on, on how the players got on and, and particularly the latter part of the season and I think it's the same at any club and, and I think the feel good factor that was here last year with it being so fresh in people's minds, um, hopefully it won't be too hard to, to get people I think back on side again and, 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 and cheering the players on. I don't know if you'll have had the chance to have a look at your Twitter over the last couple of days but I'd imagine there'd be a lot of well wishers especially from St Mirren fans. Yeah, I, I honestly haven't. I probably have, I haven't been near it in uh, probably about a week or something. I would say uh, any type of social media whatsoever because it's it's been so busy and there's been such big decisions to make. But um, no, I'm sure I'm sure when I do get on to it, it'll be brilliant. And I'm probably from Korean fans as well because it's been um, from both sides, you know. And I think it's that connection that's important. And I think you know these people work hard every week. You know, they come here with an entitlement on Saturday. Um, for a product or, or for, for, for enjoyment and, and to be able to get behind the side. So I think it's, it's our duty to make sure that, 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 that they get that. Like you mentioned Korean fans as well. I'd imagine there'd be an abundance of messages from them. Is that really heartening and it really kind of gives you pride in the job you did there? It does because I'll, I'll not lie in the early days in Korean it was tough and you know we, we had to go in and change 
a huge amount of structures and a huge amount of things and, and put a plan in place. And, and whilst that was going on, fans and, and the very entitlement to be, they want instant and they want it to be straight away. And, and, and there were rough moments in those times, but I think now there's a respect there because of, of, of what's arrived and what it's ended up with and the product that's got there. So yeah, listen, your fans are very important and, and, and it was, it was I was delighted with the reception I got on, on, on Saturday night from all the Korean fans and, and you know it's easy to say I have a great relationship with them and, and I look forward to building the same with the St Martin fans. With the St Martin fans, what sort of a character are you? What can they expect from you? Um, yeah, I'm very passionate, I'm a winner and, and I want to do well and I've got high standards in everything, everything that I do and, and I think if, if you are going to do something you, ha you have to do it right and, and, and I'll have that expectation from the players as well. So it's important that we get every little inch out of them, every little percent that we can get uh, to make them the best player that they can be and, and to make sure that the product out there is brilliant on a Saturday. You all have been asked this a million times in your press interviews earlier on about Kenny Shields being your father-in-law. What's your knowledge like of Scottish football? Um, I'll, I'll be honest, my knowledge of Scottish football would, would probably be limited at this point in time and I think that's the important aspect of, of surrounding myself with, with good people who know the game. You know, in Northern Ireland terms I know every, every player at every club and, and like, like the back of my hand but um, having not been here and not lived here as such, you know, it's going to take me a while to get up to speed from that point of view so that's where the likes of Brian will come in you know, really, really handy and, and, and listen, Tony Fitzpatrick's been super as well, he's, he's been brilliant from, from the day go and, and I know he knows a huge amount of people in football as well so those two guys in particular Will be, will be really important. Yeah, like you mentioned, Brian's here as well. You've got the likes of Alan McManus and Andy Webster at the academy. Does it help you coming in that there's that structure already in place? Brilliant. And you know, Alan came in and coached uh, this morning and, and uh, you know, was chatting to Webby as well. And, and, and I think it's important to get all those guys in around it and make sure that they all feel a part of it because there's vast amount of knowledge there. You know, Webby's what, he's pilot caps for Scotland and, and he's a glittering career. So if I can't tap something through him or can't gain something out of him, you know, I wouldn't be doing my job. Being on the training pitch today, it was a chance for you to kind of get to know some of the players a wee bit, see some of their strengths and weaknesses before you get fully hands on with it. Yeah, it's probably for me it w more in, in these next couple of days. I'll probably be I'll, I'll stand off it a bit, probably more just to observe and, and, and get a feel for people. You're st I'm still learning names and numbers and everything else, so it's important to try and get up to speed as quick as possible. So it's probably easier for me at this point in time to do it that way. You know, and, and as I say, it's important to pick the correct team for for Friday night, and and to do that, I've got to gain as much information as possible in a short period of time. Yes, a real baptism of fire for you Friday night Celtic here. Um, you looking forward to it? I can't wait and, and you know, think if, was, if there was ever justification needed about why I made the decision or why you would come across here, I think Friday night here under lights is, is going to be spectacular and, and I can't wait. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.